In this session, I'm going to introduce you to the display block. So we're going to start off by starting a new program. And as you can see, we are already connected to my EV3 brick. Now, before we start, I want to point out that for the display block to work, it needs to be used in conjunction with another block. OK, now that could be a move block, but it's easier to use the weight block. Now, if I drag in the display, it's going to display the image called Mindstorms. OK, now, before I drag in the weight block, I want to show you what happens if we don't use it. So if you look at the screen here on my EV3 brick, now notice I've turned it up on its side. That's so that the camera can pick up uh, what my screen is showing on the brick. So here we go. I'm going to download the picture Mindstorms, and it's just the block on its own. Now, you probably didn't even see that appear. It's so quick, it's so quick that it just flashes up and disappears. So if I now go to the flow pad and bring in a wait for, by default it's set to time, which is great, and I'll change it to two seconds so you can have a good look at the picture I'm showing. Now if I download it, you should see the Mindstorms logo, and that will be on the screen for two seconds. Now, if I want to change the picture, really easy to do. I click on the word Mindstorms, and I will get a whole list of folders where I can choose different images. So let's look at eyes. What I love about this is it shows you the image itself, which is really great. So if I look at the eyes, I'm going to have eyes that are looking to the right. OK. Uh, and you can see it now says middle right, which means the eye is going to be to the right. And if I press play, Let's have a look at what happens. OK. Downloading. Brilliant. There you go. You should see a pair of eyes on the EV3 screen for a couple of seconds. OK. So what else have we got on this dis uh, display block? Well, if I click on the left-hand side, I can pull up, well, I can put text in. So let me show you that. So I can put text on my screen. Now, at the moment, the default text is going to be the word Mindstorms. So let's just see if that is the case. So it's writing the word Mindstorms. But I can change that, and I can type other words as well. So I could type Rob, for example. There we go. Now, if I press Play now, you should see the word Rob appear. And I can change things like the size. I can also change the position as well. So actually, what you're seeing on my screen now, which is fantastic, is a preview of what's going to be on that screen. So I can play with the, the x-axis. I can play with the y-axis. I can make my text with bold as well. There you go. So now when I press play, it's displayed it in a different way. OK. Now, I can also put shapes up as well. So I can put circles, I can put rectangles, and I can display those as well. So it's a really great tool for communicating information to people that are looking at the brick. OK. So that's the display block. Very simple to use, great for communicating information. One thing to point out when you're using images is that it's a slightly longer download time. OK, so just bear that in mind. OK, what next? Let's move on to the sound block.